Okay guys, I also wanted to throw this in, it'll probably be at the beginning of the video, um, because I got downstairs, I've already done all the other clips, this is like the last thing I'm probably doing for Vlogtober right now, um, but, because I've already done my tarot reading, I've already done my everything, um, I wanted to mention two things. One thing that happened today reminded me, but I haven't done a proper video to say since I got it. Mysteriously, in the mail, I got this. Um, now I think, I think I know who could have sent it to me, but, um, in case I'm wrong, in case, uh, don't want, you want it to stay a surprise, or like, I wanted to say thank you, first of all, but then that person can give me an email or a comment below if it is them. I think you probably know who I think sent this. If you said it, <laughs> you know that I know. Um, but sorry if you hear Maverick too. I didn't let him come in here. This is the room that, like this is that spare bed that Damon used to sleep in and stuff, which is, that's the other thing I wanted to show you. And that's my pillowcase uh, that Bella made me. Uh, on my bed. I have to get another pillow for the other pillowcase, but um, yeah, this is just like the spare room. It's just kind of lightly decorated with stuff. Um, it's just some place for like Maverick and I just nap or something if we want to during the day without bothering anybody. Um, but yeah, so I, just, I wanted to say thank you. This It's a Funko Loungefly uh, purse. So if you open it up, I only have one hand because of the way I'm holding the camera. But if, and if I have to find the zipper too, <laughs> there's a problem. Sorry about that seasickness you probably just got. Um, hold on, let me put the camera down. One, one moment. Sorry, I'm back. I figured that would be much easier than you guys watching me struggle. Um, but these were meant to look like the uh, Halloween buckets from McDonald's. Like it even has a McDonald's lounge fly. It has that tag label metal fixture on it because it's a McDonald's lounge fly. Um, and so if you remember the pumpkin buckets, but it, the lining has all the other buckets. Like there's, you see the jack-o'-lantern, there's the ghost and there's the witch. So yay, we have the buckets. <laughs> so I, I wanted to say it, in case this remains a mystery gifter, I wanted to say thank you very, very much that I got it, that I love it. Uh, that now that I've shown it, I can open it and fully use it and enjoy it. And I really appreciate it. And thank you so much. I love it. Um, whoever sent it, I love it. Uh, what reminded me to put that in this video was I got, um, so I was talking to my girls um, because I mentioned in my video the other day also that the uh, gift exchange like I was going to do with Courtney from Fiber Fox Studios. We're still going to do it, but not not this month, not right now, because um, I've had a lot going on and she's got a lot going on. Uh, nothing bad. She, like, she's got good things. I'll let her do her own update for you guys um, on her own channel <laughs> when she's ready. But I'm, I'm not trying to say I wasn't implying anything. Like I had all that crying and sadness and craziness going on. That's not what's going on with her. So I don't want to make anybody worry is all I'm saying. But um, I got in the mail... It says a gift for you, 13 days of Halloween for you, my friend. I hope you enjoy from Samantha. And you did not need to do this. Did not need to do this, but I appreciate and love you so much for it. She got me an advent calendar. So I have 13 days of horror pop figures to count down with you guys. And I'm so excited about that. So I do have something for the last 13 days of Halloween. Like, look. I am so excited. <gasps> That's David. That's David from the Lost Boys. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited, you guys. Um, so I wanted to properly say thank you to Samantha. Uh, Samantha is from Amethyst Craftworks. I will link her channel down below also. She'll probably be linked all, all month because uh, leading up to it, she'll be linked when I open these and she'll be linked just because she's wonderful and you guys should check her out. And especially if you love all the spooky crochet things like I do um, and like I bring to you, uh, you'll love Samantha also. So I know I couldn't bear to let my birthday balloons go. They're still up. I have like two of them are, two of them are, are losing the battle, which really stinks because it's my princess balloon. <laughs> But these were from my birthday that my friends surprised me with at work.
<laughs> anyway, all right. I love you guys, uh, and I'll talk to you soon. Hey guys, it's Heather the Crochet Witch. How are you guys doing? Welcome to day one of Vlogtober. I think I finally pulled something together a little bit. I might be adding here or there. I'm definitely going to be in multiple rooms today. Um, I just woke up, got showered, so I'm up here. And I like to start my day when I have time, when I remember. Um, if you guys remember this little ditty that I had started with... Um, Lion Brand Ferris Wheel Yarn, and it's all my different uh, scraps that I had left over from that Nature's Walk crochet along um, blanket that I did. Um, and I decided to use them all and just connect them and see where it goes. Um, probably some kind of lap blanket or whatnot. Uh, but yeah, I started a square today and... thought I would just chill with you guys for a minute and make one of them because it doesn't take that long and yeah so obviously it's the first of October are you guys excited uh, I don't even know who else is doing vlogtober right now um I haven't been watching YouTube as much as I would like to because I've been trying to get like stuff done and then while I've been like normally when I have like crocheted time and can watch something, that's when I always like catch up on my YouTube and, and such. But I have been re-watching um, The Witcher because so David and I finally started season three. That's the new one, right? Yeah. Season three of that. Um, and we're like, I don't know, four episodes in or so. Uh, we only watch them on like the days that he's off and I'm home. And there's like, because a lot of times he likes to go to bed earlier and stuff like that because he gets tired way before I do. <laughs> um, so it's like a slow process to watch any like seasons of TV and stuff. Um, but we did start it. And for those of you who have watched The Witcher, um, because it's something that we have always watched, like when I've gone to bed, there's been, I know there's been a couple episodes where like I've fallen asleep or been like really sleepy watching it at least, at the very least. And uh, I missed the fact that they were doing a lot more switching around in the timeline than I realized. Let me put it that way, I guess, because I don't want to say time travel. They weren't, they weren't time traveling per se, but um this isn't going to make sense unless you've seen the, the show, but like when all the stuff that's happening with Siri, except for when she was first introduced, like at the castle with her grandma and stuff, all of that is more like present day in the show. Um, so like after he joins with Siri and stuff, that stuff is more present day, but like, especially in like season one, which is what I'm on right now, rewatching, um, the stuff with Yennefer happened at a different time than the stuff with Geralt when Geralt met Yaskir and I, it's I, none of that really hit me I guess I thought it was like happening at the same time um sorry I looked over and I just noticed uh, um so this room is in desperate need of painting <laughs> and I noticed where some of the paint had kind of chipped off where I didn't know it was before anyway that's anyway that's why I was like double taking off the side of the camera um but yeah it just it jumps around really bad <laughs> and I could probably show you where I'm crocheting huh um not really bad I mean they did a, a good job of it but I didn't realize that the first like take or whatever and um so I'm going back and rewatching it. So like, that's what I've been doing more or less when I've been able to just like sit calmly and crochet. And, uh, yeah, I'm on like, 
I don't remember how many episodes are in season one, so I might be like wrong with how many I'm on or whatever, but I, I believe I'm on episode seven, six or seven or eight. One of those. <laughs> um, yeah, so. And that's probably like if I get done with this and David ends up coming up to like sleep for like nap sleep for a while probably watch another episode of that because I can't do anything terribly loud um you know because he's sleeping and he's like a really light sleeper like compared to me as if I could sleep through anything he could vacuum downstairs or he actually he has worked on the house stuff when I've showed you like that he was redoing that room downstairs he worked on that while I was asleep <laughs> And it didn't bother me at all. I didn't even know it was happening. Um, now, if, like, the dogs had been up with me or something, that might have been a different story, you know, because they hear everything and they want to be a part of everything. But um, I'm surprised they're not barking because I'm upstairs talking right now. And I'm, I don't even feel like I'm talking that loud. Like, I'm going to have to replay this because it's been a while uh, since I've used this mic. And I've never used this uh, camera with this mic, but this camera, this phone, since I got it. Um, but that was the whole, the whole point when I did get this mic anyway, right? Was it was the same brand as the one downstairs, even though it was a different kind. And I ended up being really, really happy with that brand. So, which if you're curious, the brand is JLab. Uh, I got my one downstairs. My one downstairs is like a bigger one. I don't know if the quality is any better or not, but it's a bigger one. Um, but I also got it when JLab was kind of like newer, especially to like microphones. And I don't even know if they've branched out into microphones. I know they do like a lot more like earbuds and headphones. And um, if you've ever seen me wearing, I found on Amazon, there's like Bluetooth headphones that look like the retro, you know, over the head with the two. Uh, you can do orange or black, but uh, they have a set of each. But the spongy ear pads and they look like your old school like Walkman headphones but they're Bluetooth um, and those are JLab so anyway <laughs> that's what my mic is a lot of talking for one little granny square right I'm almost done with it uh, I'm just getting to there are only three round granny squares so I'm just getting to uh, the part where I join it to the blanket because I am doing um, so like my continuous join for those of you who are familiar with it that's what this is like see notice it looks like it's sewn kind of you can probably see it better here but you see there's just one little it's like you whip stitch the whole thing right but instead of doing a bunch of squares and then joining them with a border of the continuous uh, join I'm just basically doing the continuous join right from <clears throat> right from the squares so try to hold it up awkwardly i'll have to remember to lower the camera tomorrow <laughs> if i'm in here tomorrow tomorrow's like the day that uh it's like the the one day because today okay david's off today i'm off today but he got off an overnight shift so this is like his catch up on sleep day basically it's like, yes, we're off together, but tomorrow is like our, we're off together, so let's go do something, let's go have lunch, or let's go to the mall, or let's, you know, go shopping, or even just do stuff around the house together, you know, that's, Mondays is our day for that, comparatively, but yeah, I don't know, I know I'm not like zoomed in, I'm not doing like a tutorial at the moment or anything, but uh, hopefully you can tell, for those of you who are more, um, familiar with the with the joint I'm talking about uh, you'll probably see better like what I'm doing I guess but um, if you're not familiar with my continuous join uh, I do have a tutorial for it I think it's whether it's mine or not because there are others out there it's not like something that I own um, I kind of married the ideas of a couple different ones into like my own style and so that's why I had done the tutorial and that's why I'm like shipping for it real hard <laughs> pushing for it real hard 
Um, it's because I feel like mine, like for me, makes sense to me, but others might make sense to you better. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's literally just that continuous join. And like I said, I have a tutorial for it. If you're interested, I'll try to remember to put it down below, which means it'll probably be in all of my Vlogtober ones. Cause I usually just put the same links down below. Like there'll be, um, there'll be links for Ellie Leva today, uh, all through the month, because, uh, that is one thing I, I have to open is stitch markers. I have the Halloween set coming. I have her, um, horror movie set coming. And, uh, so I was thinking like, oh, that'll be just enough for the month of October. The two of them together will make 30. And then I have, um, my fall stitch markers for the 31st, you know, like, I mean, I'll start with the fall stitch markers and I'll end on horror movies, I'm sure. But, um, so not in that order, but I meant I had enough to fill in the 31 days. Right. And then it occurred to me that Ellie is super fast shipping and her packages. I, I told her before, there seems to be like a timeline between, you know, a postal timeline between me and her, because every time she's like, I sent your package, it arrives like the next day. Um, but it doesn't matter how super fast you are, but I ordered them so late. I, they were obviously not here for today. Um, but like I said, I have the fall ones. So I'm going to end cause I, I never ended up opening. I opened like what, two or something like that. Um, from the fall set that I got. And then I didn't do that many videos because like I got super behind on everything, stressed out on everything. Um, all that stuff was happening. Uh, my emotional breakdown for Winston happened. Um, just everything kind of, the month of September was insane. I had four birthdays to like get stuff together for and it was crazy. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a busy, busy month for me at, at the end of the day. Like really, I didn't realize how busy September was going to end up being. Uh, but hopefully now things are calming down. I mean, they're picking up an excitement because like towards the end of this month, I'll have, I think I mentioned in the video yesterday, I'll have like my concerts, uh, to go to that are the end of October and the beginning of November. So I'll get to see all my friends again. And I'm so excited about that. Um, I'm trying to talk Yolanda, the crochet addict into going, and she's such a busy lady too. Um, but I'm trying to talk her into going since we're not a world apart. Like it seems like me and most of all my other friends are, <laughs> um, but that would be pretty cool if we could go because she I don't I'm not gonna say like where she lives in case she don't want people to know but she lives in a state that borders me so I was kind of hoping there'd be because I'm willing to drive I've gone to concerts in that state several several times uh, so I'm willing to drive you know to concerts and um, I don't know if there's any close enough to Rose I don't know if Rose is watching my vlogtobers uh, but I'll have to, we'll have to work that out, um, and see which, like, which ones I'm going to, and maybe I can meet up with her, because, um, I, Rose, I know if you're watching this, I'm kind of just talking to you at the moment, but I know you said you'd, like, drive closer because of my whole, I don't want to drive, uh, you know, feelings, but, uh, I feel bad about that, <laughs> and, um, so maybe we can kill two birds with one stone. I mean, if you want to go to a concert, Rose, I don't know if you like rock music, but... <laughs> always inviting people to concerts too. <laughs> um, but yeah, any, anyway, that's what's at the end of the month I have going on is that, and of course, Halloween. So all through the month, see, and it's, there's my ends. Don't look at my ends. Look at the side. There's my join though. And I just did, let me cut it maybe. And that'll be a little easier to show you. You think I never did ever did tutorials or anything. So like I'm just uncoordinated with it, but <laughs> No, I'm just uncoordinated in general. <laughs> but there we go. So there's the joined, <clears throat> the joined square. I've accomplished my goal for the day. So yeah, I'm kind of thinking, like I said, this will be a blanket. You guys, um, you know that when I did my yarn room up here, I kind of dedicated it to all my favorite yarns. And I have like 
a shelf of um, my Ferris wheels over here. I mean, like literally a shelf of it. Like on my shelving unit, I, I have a whole shelf of Ferris wheel yarn. Because I remember I thought it was going on clearance, like for, because it was going away and it didn't. <laughs> so here I am with a happy solution of too much Ferris wheel. So that being said, um, and I don't know if you can see it, like, so there's Hopper, but <laughs> right there, <clears throat> there's already a pretty good hole in my yarn. Um, I think I used, because I had a lot crammed in there, now it looks like a normal cubby. I think I used four of those, four or six of those, six of those, um, to start the great fiber cake off. Uh, at the beginning of the year and there's you can't see a lot because I'm blocking a lot and there's stuff over here but there are like holes which I'm happy to say so I can fill in some from downstairs um, soon but yeah I've been working through some of the yarn up here and um what else was I going to tell you about this room before I go so I can point it out guess I'll remember later. I do have, I really need to, I literally have to add some pictures and, um, was it add pictures and add like one line or something to the PDF for this. And then I will have finally that dragon tail shawl, uh, the dragon tail shawlette, um, will be available and just in time for fall. Cause it's a really cozy, like full shoulder wrap. I don't know why I never put it out but that's up here so that reminded me that yeah I need to do that um <clears throat> and yeah that's I think everything um for up here <laughs> I'll see you guys downstairs and oh my god it's already 16 minutes so I guess this was a lot of my my vlogtober today huh <laughs> all right I'm gonna go I'm gonna get downstairs and I'll see you in a little bit I love you guys will this clicker work uh oh <laughs> old school it is hey guys i am back again uh i am downstairs i told you it would be in different rooms today <laughs> um i am pulling out my stitch markers i only opened one this is the stitch markers from ellie that i'm talking about and you may remember that beautiful fall leaf and then I just kind of quit making videos for a little bit that involved me being able to open these. So let's open, let's open a couple. You want to open a couple today just to start October? So let me find, that's four. And of course I didn't sort any of them. So, but I do like to go by the numbers. This was Ellie's fall set, by the way, and she will be linked down below. She will be linked all during Vlogtober because I have multiple uh, sets from her coming. So you get to see a multitude of them. Do, 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 do. I found two. I just want to find three so I can get our crinkling out of the way. So there's five. You guys probably are like, we didn't really need to sort through these with you, Heather. We didn't need to. <laughs> I found 13. <laughs> I found six. Where's three at, you guys? 14. Three. Of course, it was one of the last ones that I found. Because <laughs> why wouldn't it be? By the way, the bag I was shuffling through, look, it even has these beautiful fall leaves on them. I really love these. Ellie thinks of, like, everything. So, I already showed you the stitch marker holder that came in these pretty fall colors again. So excited about this. I was thinking about this multiple times through the month, and I was like, I really need to just do a video and open a bunch of these. So here's number two. In this beautiful yellow paper all of these are like really pretty fall colors if not a fall design oh oh i love this one so much 
It's a little owl. And he's very antique looking, right? Isn't he cute? Um, in my my entryway, because we have like a door, an entryway with some windows and then the actual door into the house. Um, so we hang different like things up there. That's where my countdown is to Halloween that you've seen um, by now for sure. It's probably in this video. Uh, but there's also at like at a yard sale, I think I found it at or was it Goodwill? It was some thrifty type of thing that I got. Uh, and it, I think it's from the 70s, but it looks like it is regardless of when it was made. Um, I have this really pretty macrame owl. And I cannot do macrame, but I certainly like the look of it. Um, especially things like owls and things like that. Um, but yeah, I have it hanging out there. And I really, I'm not like owl obsessed, but I do really, really like owls. So aren't, isn't it cute? I love it. So let me get him on my stitch marker holder here. And let's open number three also because, you know, why not? I know I get to show you this beautiful paper. Well, it's like a napkin, right? It's like a fall harvesty looking napkin that's so clever. Look at that. I love it. I love it. I love it. By the way, I will say too, um, I when I was upstairs a little while ago, I felt like kind of compelled to do a reading. So for those of you who don't know, I have um, a tarot channel that I just put, I group all that stuff together. Um, so I put out like a general reading one or I'm putting it out. I don't know what what will be at first. I imagine Vlogtober will be at first, but as soon as I have a link for that, well, I, I'll link the channel. How about that? I'll link the channel down below. My witchy channel is down there, but my tarot channel probably isn't. So I'll make sure that link also gets put below. And um, yeah, I kind of think throughout the month I'm going to do a bunch of like general readings and to like get, ooh, that's pretty, to get myself back into it. So if you're curious or if that's your cup of tea, uh, head on over there, check it out. Maybe give me a subscribe because I am trying to get subscriber counts up on that channel. And yeah, all right. So this says happy fall and it's like the back of uh, one of the old timey trucks that you see everywhere, like decorated everywhere that people love. My friend Dean, I mentioned during the 4th of July is really into like the old pickup truck scene. So, uh, and he crochets. So maybe I'll see. I, I certainly like it. If he doesn't like it, I mean, I'm going to keep it because I really, really like this one. I think it's adorable. It's got pumpkins in the back and it's got a fall theme of colors of seed beads right here under my my finger sorry that my nails are awful you guys but <laughs> um but it's so cute and it's the same on both sides thank you ellie i really 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 love these i'm so excited like i was excited for all the sets but uh this is i knew the coming in this was going to be like fall halloween horror movies all of these stitch markers are like so my bag you know they're so my bag here was a um like an ornament that came actually with this set and uh, this is i was thinking about seeing if dean likes that too because i really love it though so honestly like i said if he says no it's just every time i see like uh trucks and things with different for different holidays i always think of him <laughs> and uh yeah so Hopefully you guys like them. Ellie's information will be linked down below. Because like I said, right now she's got um, Halloween and horror movies. And uh, she puts up like previews. So if, if I'm missing something, those are the sets I knew I had to get. But um, if she has others, um, she may comment down below here. Or it'll be there linked on her social medias, which I intend to put up. So yeah. Anyway, hopefully you like them. And uh, we'll be opening those through the month. And... I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, guys.